Well, you guys asked for one, so you guys are getting one. Yeah. Hello everybody, it's Pinky Beer, and today I'm going to do the full tutorial on the dollar store barrel cube. I know it's been so long, I've tried to upload a video in the past, but it was just a little bit too long, apparently. So, I'm going to uh do the full tutorial. So, I'm going to be using the beginner's method, because, yeah, so, if it's not mixed up already, which most likely it is, uh, go ahead and mix it up. Now, I'm going to basically be, it's a lot like a 3x3, three three, so, um, so first I have to go over notation first. So, this side right here is an R. Uh, to do an R, it's just like that. An R prime is the opposite of that, where you bring it down. An L is on this side, but an L goes down. An L prime, of course, goes up. A U is the top placed this way. The U prime is counterclockwise. A D, which we shouldn't be using in this, is this way. And a D prime is this way. An F is the front face this way. Oh, gosh. That way. And the F prime is that way. Now a B is this, and a B prime is that. It's basically, you can say U, R, L, F, B, and D. And U prime is counterclockwise, and the normal, so like an R, is clockwise. That's the easiest way to explain it. And there's one notation, no more notation we will have to learn, but we'll get to later that in the road. And I've also explained that in my other video. So yeah, here we go. I always like to do gray first. So what we got to do is got to put this down there. The easiest way to do this case where the gray is facing towards you is do a U and then bring the, the whole side up, do a U prime, and then bring it all down. You see how it matches up? Perfect. Now this is one of the easiest cases. So bring it to an open slot, slot on the bottom and just do an F2 and it'll bring it straight in. It's really easy. Now... Um, the next one is right here. So let's just bring it up with this simple R2. Then we do a U to bring it over to the slot that we wanted it. If I can bring it over, that's of course. Well, the gray's facing us, so of course we have to do it again. U, bring the middle up. U prime, bring the middle down. Now I got the next one here. How do you bring it up, you ask? Well, it's pretty simple. You just do an R prime, U, R prime. Then you got that. Next you just do uh, F2 and voila, got the cross salt. Now I am very lucky to have three corners already in, but don't worry, I'll show you all the cases. So the first case is where the gray is facing that way, so to the right. So to do that you just do a, a U, I mean not a U, what am I talking about? An R, U, R prime. Now let's do another case. This one, where the gray is facing you. This case is a U, R, U prime, R prime. The next case, and there's only we only need to know one more case for this, is this case, where the gray is facing up. To do that, you go R, U, 2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime. And uh, if that didn't help, just... Keep on doing that till you got all four solves in all of those. And by the way, all the algorithms will be linked down here, here besides the cross. Those is basically intuitive. So the next thing to do is to put all of these in the middle layer. So to do that, you basically put the yellow over a, uh, a center that has an open space to one of these sides. Looks like I have the right one open. To do the right one, you do a U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R. Pretty simple. Now, let me just get it in ready. To do the left case, you do a U prime, 
L prime U L U F U prime F prime. Of course, once again, they'll be down here. That just keep on repeating that till you have the whole entire middle layer solved. Next is the first cross. So in this case, it's the red cross. To do that, you want there's uh, one of four cases you have. You can have this case with the bar. You can have this case with the bar. Or you can have this case with the cross. You can also have it so you have these three and this one's turned. That's called parry. But just pretend that one's turned. Just don't, don't pay attention to it. You can also have it where it's just the center. Everything else is turned. We'll just do this algorithm that I'm about to show you. If you have this case, then go ahead and put it in this position where it's making a 90 degree angle pointing this way and that way. So the algorithm is F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Then you should get a bar. If you don't have a bar and you just have a little line here, that probably means you have parity. So just go ahead and turn it to the side, either pointing this way or that way. So, of course, I have the bar right here. And I'm going to face it just like that. And go ahead and do this algorithm again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Okay, so that should have solved it. Now, if you have one of these flipped, do not worry. You have parity. Just ignore it for now. So, yeah. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to preserve one of these edges by putting it here. What this algorithm does is flips all of those, preserves that one. You ready? Okay. R prime U2. R U. R prime U R. Well, we just ended up right where we started. Okay, let's do it again. Let's preserve this one this time. R prime U2. R U. R prime U R. Okay, we got a different case. So let's just pick a random one and let's go ahead and do the do it again. R prime u two, R u, R prime u, R. Okay, so we got one. So if when we got one, we want to preserve it and it should flip all of those. Let's do it again. R prime u two, R u, R prime u, R. So basically, you just want to continue that until it solves it. As you can see, it finished, but not exactly. As you can see, this is parity case number two. If you look very carefully, this right there isn't solved. It's actually turned 90 degrees. Here's where the extras come into play. So, there's another move. It's called an M. An M is when you move this middle layer down like that. And an M prime is when you do the opposite, that. We'll be using this to flip the center. There's an algorithm that flips these two centers 90 degrees clockwise. So you might have more than one to do this. Uh, so just keep on repeating it till you have all of them smooth right here. But we don't. So let's continue. The algorithm is M U, well, M prime U M U prime. M prime U M U prime. M prime U M U prime. M prime, U, M, U prime. M prime, U, M, and then we're done. So basically, it's M prime, U, M, U prime, and it is repeated four times. Oh, four. Four or four times. Now, let's go get on to the next parity case. Okay, guys. So this is parity alg number two. Oh, gosh. So this is when you have this flipped edge, and you have this also flipped. Now, if you decided to go ahead and flip this edge, you're going to have to flip that back, because that is not going to work. You have to flip this edge and this. That's what this alg does. Are you ready? Let's do this. So the alg is R2, U. R prime, U prime, R2 prime. 
which or just do an R2. It's the same thing. F prime, U prime, F, U. B, U prime, B prime, U prime, R prime, U, R. Okay, so from here, what you want to do is you're going to insert this corner again. Then you're going to take this and you're going to do the right alg. Okay, then you're going to do a, another one insert the next one then you should get this go f r u r prime u prime f turn it again f r u r prime u prime f and then we do r prime u two r u r prime u r and we put that there and we go r prime u two r u r prime u r Go back here, R prime U2, R U, R prime U, R. And that should solve it. So basically, the parity algorithm puts you in a state where you have to resolve the cube. But what the parity algorithm does, it unflips that cube, but it, well, let's just say it, you know, mixes up the cube a bit more. Which means you're going to have to put this back in and put two edges back in and then redo the top layer. Uh, if you do almost exactly what I did, it should work. I have not tried it out doing something else of what I've done. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the full tutorial of this. Remember, all uh, as you guys probably know by now, all the algs are down here. And if you want to solve this cube without actually um memorizing it i suggest you take pictures of me before i uh solve it and when the things are down here so i hope you guys enjoyed this full tutorial and i see you all in the next one bye